Hey guys, I'm coming in here right before the start of the episode just to say that the anime was so bad that it actually manifested itself into the audio we had. We tried to salvage as much as we could, but if there's any funkiness in the recording, that's why. So, hope you enjoy what we got. Dude, look at those graphics. Dude, can I start the test? <laughs> no. Graphic design is my passion. Dude, dude. dude, what people were saying about the animal in you, Sharon Osborne, this test is amazing. It pegged me. Perfectly. I have a feeling I was an eagle. Dr. Phil, yeah, I took Dr. the test. Dr. Phil McGraw. I took the test. I was a tiger. I'm able to read people's motivations and assess situations quickly. Garb your CNN, go. <laughs> Hold on. I'm laughing because it just shows CNN as if, like, John CNN himself took the quiz. <laughs> yeah, it no, is you're I, John CNN. CNN. And this was the representation that the whole you're company You're the liberal felt. agenda. Go. A truly insightful personality test based on a novel psychological idea. You sound Man. like Dr. House. <laughs> That's awful. I can't wait for this to be the cold open. Here comes the opening! Woo! Guys, we watched Kimono Friends 2. Uh, no, this is start again, because I was cut off. Woo! Hey, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Funky Anime Podcast. We, this episode's hey going to be an Sorry. absolute disaster, so buckle your seatbelts. Where's my um, water? In, <laughs> That's my favorite mobile game. Introducing ourselves like we normally would. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the host. I'm Garb. And, and no, you just Chuck introduced Lionel. yourself. So you um, failed. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a what animal are you? Hi, quiz. I'm Pino. <laughs> That's Pino. Yeah, are we ready to take the test? Yes. Yes. All so right. uh, this this test is on animalinu.com. Are they the same questions? Or are they more? Are they random? They're all the same. Okay. So the first, <laughs> who who wants to read? I'll read. The Let's first alternate. One. Okay. Yeah. Let's How alternate. big Go. are you? How does your size <laughs> compare to the others around you? Ah, this is a cheap shot. <laughs> nah, small and trim. The size of an animal will influence its behavior and determine how it survives in the world. But don't be fooled. Even the smallest creatures have their advantages. Oh, can I go next? I, I am extra large. What are you, Car? Are you what, above average? Um, I put uh, average. Cause I'm 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 five nine. I'm, not I'm the like... average Peruvian height. <laughs> that yeah, but count. you're not in Peru. We're in the Americas. It's the same difference. <laughs> So how aggressive are you? Are you an uh, aggressive person? Do you readily accommodate, accommodate others, or do you always play to win? Nature meets competition. Dude, I pay to but, win. <laughs> but not all creatures must fight for a living. Some animals will attack others um, whenever it benefits them, but others prefer to say, stay passive uh, I, and take what they can get. Hey, hey. I just want to say... We're all pretty strong-willed, right? Yeah. Except for but, me. I'm, lo a, I'm a wet noodle. Low-key, low-key? <laughs> I'm sensitive. Well, yeah, low key, low key, low key. My heart hurts. <laughs> Deep down, we are all in pain. Uh, I want to say I think I'm just strong willed and assertive. I'm I low think key. I think I'm low key and sensitive. I don't like getting in people's way unless I need to. I'm I'm just very loud all the time. But sometimes I'm crying. I'm perfectly I in the middle of Because I, you're somewhat assertive. Okay, are you a social creature? Are you a so so. so so, oh, are you a solitary or I'm social animal? Are you a animal? sultry animal? I, I was like, mm, what kind of animal question is this? How much time do you spend with friends and family? Cooperation goes a long way, and more animals find it successful if they band together. But other creatures don't stand peers weighing them down. Hmm. Well, I am self-contained. Uh, I mainly keep to myself and my family. But I do prefer the small company of small friends. 
As soon as I'm, I'm done recording this podcast, I will not talk to another person for the rest of the I'm night. I'm popular and outgoing. That's pretty presumptuous of me to say, but okay. <laughs> I prefer the com- company of small groups of friends. I'll do that. How attractive do you find? How do others <laughs> find you? Why do I always get the, these ones? Do others find you good looking? Some animals like to flaunt what nature gave them. Others get by by just lay, fine laying low. There's no shame in your looks, good or bad, but it does influence your behavior. Pino, I think you turn heads. Yeah, turned, Pino's very attractive. I have never, I've never had a had a, a positive. I've turned reaction. my head. I turned, I turned <laughs> my head when I saw you. I instantly nutted in my pants. For the first twenty years of my life, it was like, uh, who's this? Who, who's this brown? Yeah, man? but once, but once twenty one came around, I, <laughs> what was that? A fart or a sploosh? <laughs> that was a big old sploosh, a little bit of both, man. Ugh. You know, what? I, I'm, I'm gonna go average because I, I, but I have some nice attributes. You know, I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, nor the most toned. I, I hate, I hate how presumptuous this, this question like presents itself because it's like, either, I, I look, I'm fine, or there's like, I'm very attractive. <laughs> Everyone looks at me. I am a god. <laughs> I'm definitely above average. I think I'm gonna pick that though. You ever seen Hercules? That. Yeah. That's what I am. <laughs> But how right. dependable are you? Are you always there for your friends? Can others trust and depend on you completely? Or do you like to be flexible with promises and hate being the shoulder to cry on? Mm-hmm. I'm dependable, honest, and usually reliable. That's me too, usually. <laughs> nobody had any, nobody argued that. We all picked no, the same one. No, I'm showing you too. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> You're reading the monkey one. <laughs> Wait, who's reading the monkey one? That's Chucky. mine. How intelligent are you? How smart are you? Really? Animals with big brains find new ways to deal with problems, but overthinking things can be a disadvantage. A big brain means more strategies to succeed Yo, in the dude, world. I'm but sometimes you only need one. I'm intelligent and bright, and I enjoy reading and debating. Mostly debating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm that middle one. <laughs> the monkey really do it. <laughs> monkey think. <laughs> He's straight yeah, up I'm, doing like uh, the think emoji, and it is absolutely incredible. Dude, guys, guys, guys! Please take this quiz and email us. <laughs> guys, <laughs> please do. Uh, guys, wait, but I want to ask you: How athletic are you? Would you consider yourself athletic? No, wait, I, I didn't even tell you what I picked. I picked the middle one. Okay, continue. <laughs> I think. Or do you sit around all day? <laughs> are you a sports hero or a couch potato? The athletic cheetah can always outrun its prey, but then again, so can a sloth. There is no such thing as a lazy, as lazy in the animal kingdom. You don't survive, or do you? I read that backwards. Shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, I enjoy sports as a recreational tool. Uh, I there's no like I like to work out, but when I when when I'm working, I I, I lose time and I can't work out. I enjoy sports and recreation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. All right. I, I picked the. the top one <laughs> the, I'm generally bad. inactive because you like, are potato man yeah he's a fat boy. but how successful are you in life oh no not the question how successful are you are you getting what you want out of life do no. other people look at you as a model of success or do you feel you've fallen behind your peers I've fallen behind I've my fallen peers behind because my I peers. Because, because I in fact have an anime podcast because no I one watch wants one that. piece and no one watches that <laughs> oh no the thing is, uh, I don't, these answers don't really reflect my the question. It's I sick. guess mine is just I have potential but struggle to get motivated because that <laughs> is a real answer. <laughs> and the other ones are like, I reach my goals. I don't reach most of my goals, but I feel I like I drive to constantly achieve. Yeah, I, I feel like I struggle to get motivated. I'll go to I reach I my goals. Well, I like, well, when people tell me what to do, I kind of have to do it, but. Well, yeah. yeah, but that's not motivation. That's forcing you. Well, yeah, but like I'm motivated get to make it done. money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so okay. I'm gonna go there. Do you <laughs> like to travel? <laughs> no. Frost. <laughs> How do you feel about traveling? Many birds will migrate thousands of miles, and some animals will literally die if they stop moving. But others <laughs> never leave the patch of ground. Uh, I can't get get enough traveling. That's me. I travel. Uh, I would like to travel. But I just don't travel anywhere because I got to do stuff. I, I like driving. When I can, but I like you know what I like. You know what I I like coming home. So I'm a I'm a I'm a homeboy. Home body. Okay, so All right, ready. We're going to finish the quiz, but don't say it. Yet. Three, two, one. Don't don't say it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I clicked mine. 
<laughs> We're probably gonna uh, end up with the same. <laughs> We're gonna end up with the same thing again. I just know it. No. Um, are we revealing it at the end of the, the episode? First question. So, are we doing this in the normal order? Order garb, uh, Chuck Pino. I'm going alphabetical. That's. That's yeah, sure. D- are you dumb? You just said Garb Chuck Pino I'm alphabetical going, order. Listen, uh, listen. Good. In the name, in the order that are our icons slow? are, our icons are right just now. Go, in just Discord. go, just go, go, Garb. You're hosting anyways. I, I'm a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> a bionic beaver. Wow. <laughs> Chuck, what are you? <laughs> I'm a rhino. God. <sighs> I'm a bat. <laughs> Why am I a bat? Why? I don't get it. Bats are cool, all... dude. What are you talking about? I'm a fucking beaver. Spotting a bat guys. personality, identifying bat personality is not difficult. What do you mean not difficult? <laughs> guys, guys, did you did you know that the collective term for a rhino is it's a crash of rhinos? A crash. <laughs> I fucking love that. Yeah, a crash. What are, what are your of What are your may, you may also be? Because I it oh, says uh, I'm also I... a mouse and a deer. <laughs> I got I, prairie dog and beaver again. I agree I got, with deer. I, <laughs> you could be a beaver or a beaver. I got I got horse and warthog. You got horses in the back. Ba-ba-ba-bum. I agree with deer um, mostly because I Snapchat a lot of deer for no reason. Oh wait, oh wait. There's guys. If you scroll down, there's an animal matchmaker. Oh fuck. Oh my god. There's, Career there's hobbies. Also famous, guys, there's also there's also famous no, rhino personnel. I wanted to be one. No. <laughs> Famous um, beaver personalities: Jimmy Carter, yeah. Alexander Graham Bell. Oh my God! You, Pino, what are yours? If you scroll Wait, all the way all down, all the way down. Yeah. You don't know Stradamus <laughs> <laughs> and Gypsy Rose Lee. Hey, hey guys. She put the strees in strip tees. What is this? Guys, for Rhino, I have O.J. Simpson. <laughs> And Mike Tyson. <laughs> the, the, the guy who bit off the ear? Yes. Oh my god. Is that the first okay, thing so that comes I'm, to your I'm mind? Okay, so I'm going to see Tyson? my animal matchmaker with a bat. Oh, could not able select from animals where, where mate like rabbit. Table animal attraction you, doesn't exist. I'm a rhino. Oh, yeah, rhino. I got an error too. <laughs> no, one tells, this... no one can screw the bat. Fuck. I want to have bat sex. Uh, what were oh beaver error beaver? could not execute <laughs> like animals were mate. Damn it! I guess we can't mate. Uh, Damn uh, it! Uh, well, guys, as we all know, I'm a rhino. Scar <laughs> is a, I'm a beaver, and <laughs> Pino's a bat. And make sure to tweet at us what you got at Three of Wee Bros on Twitter because I want to know and then make fun of you if you didn't get <clears> a, a, a a Ramby rhino. And I if wish you I didn't. got a rat. I, I wish funny. I was. I wish I was fat. There's a rat. Epic. And if you're wondering why we're being so animalistic today, we watched Kimono Friends too. <laughs> yep. And that's a show about all sorts of animal friends. Um, yeah. And not just friends it. this time. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Um, meow, 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 meow. So we watched season one. Um, I think everyone yeah. except Chuck hated it. But yeah. I've turned around. Oh, season on. one. Season one's great. Fuck you. Yeah, I've turned around on season one. I like season I'm one. I'm gonna have to ignore both of your opinions from here on out. Pino still hates it because he's a hater and he doesn't like fun things. And you shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry for yelling. <laughs> and so yeah, now we're at season two, and this show had a whole controversy behind it. So, dude, is this is this is it time for is this time for garb news? This is garb news. <laughs> Welcome to garb news. So garb news is a garb news is a broadcast put forward by the Three Wee Bros Correlation, and you got to make sure to dab on your haters, or else you're not allowed to come in. <clears throat> so on today's edition of Garb News, um, we'll be going over the controversy of Tatsuki. So <sighs> Tatsuki, Tatsuki? as I just you. mentioned, thank <laughs> you. Um, he wrote and directed the first season. So, generally, he's regarded as the creative mind that brought this anime, the season one, to the level of success that it was. Because oh I don't know for certain about this part, but they, it really doesn't <laughs> look like they had a lot of money doing this. 
they um, had a very inexperienced studio animating it, which is why it's uh, 3D and looks very stiff, but... Um, I th- Not as stiff as season two, baby. Yeah, yeah. Keep in mind that at that Fuck point, season, two. The season one was, you know, based on the only other Kimono Friends media was a mobile game that hadn't even been active in like a year. Dude. So did they, you say they were expecting game? the show to yes. be dead on arrival. What did you say, Pino? Did you say mobile game? Mm-hmm. It's been discontinued since oh. before season one was out. Um, oh. There's new mobile games now because, you know, um, the Sega sees this as like a money-making machine. Like, they want to make Sega. this. That whole part about the whenever they see the merch in the hotel, that was super fucking meta, dude. Yo, but, I wanted one. Dude, epic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Capitalism I wanted a Red you. Panda one. Like, like let's be real here. I would have loved a Red Panda one. If someone makes those or if Sega sells them, I'm not going to buy them. But if you send them my way, I will get them. <laughs> I can't believe you. So yeah, DM me on selling Twitter. out to corporate America, <laughs> Japan of America. I will absolutely sell out to Japan of America. J- Japan of America. Yeah, you heard me. All right then. So can I continue with Garb News? Maybe. Garb News. <laughs> so, Welcome back. <laughs> we're back from our small commercial break. So Tetsuki announced on Twitter that he was no longer working on the Kimono Friends project. Oh. Um. Season two, he was replaced by Ryuichi Kimura as the director Bless and you. Takuya Matsumoto as the writer. Bless oh. you. Thank you. Uh, the tweet received over 270,000 retweets and 170,000 likes, wow. which is um, nothing to shake a stick at. Um, don't shake I'm shaking my don't stick. Don't point that stick at me. Don't I'm shaking point it. that stick at me. I'm shaking Stop it. it. Stop it. Stop it. I can't even reach your face. You're too tall. <laughs> no. So he cited uh, Katakawa, uh, the publishing and production multimedia company, as the reason for his departure. Mm -hmm. So additionally, um, a different animation studio was used for Kimono Friends Season 2. Wow. Um, Tomasun, who I can only find credited on three shows, which is Kimono Mm -hmm. Friends 2, Milky Panic 12, and Ah. uh, the (laughs) Furusado Saisi Nippon no Malabananananishi. Bless you. Wow. Thanks. This is... I don't think I've ever messed up that bad. <laughs> I've never heard of either of those shows. My, me neither, Bless especially you. not Milky. <laughs> and um, I know, I'm pretty sure Pano's heard of Milky. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I drink milk every day. I don't call him Milky, but I drink milk heat. every... Hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm drinking I got, my milk I got, here. I got strong bones. <laughs> And the original studio who did Kimono Friends 1, they were only credited on, like, five things total, and that's counting Kimono Friends Season 1. So both studios seem to be <laughs> very inexperienced, and um, Season 2's animation team seems to be even less experienced if mm-hmm. we're going off of just the variety of shows that have been produced by them. So fans were pissed off. There were a lot of angry tweets, YouTube comments, and Nico Nico uh, chat messages. And most of them were directed <laughs> towards Kadokawa um, because, you know, um, Tatsuki stated that it was a decision by Kadokawa. Uh, the Fuck hashtag um, no Tatsuki no Tanoshi, um, which roughly translates to no Tatsuki no joy, uh, still gets new posts to this day. People are still pissed off about this. Uh, there's If you look up the hashtag, usually it's just fan art <laughs> just because they hate that decision so much. They're still bitter about it. Mm-hmm. Um, can't really blame them either. There was yeah, a petition. What's that, Pina? No, it's true. I mean, I'd be upset if they messed up something that. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna lay it straight. I don't. I'm not a big fan of season one, but I would be upset if they messed up a series that I, la, that la, I enjoy. La, la. Yeah. La, 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 la. Guess what they fucked up, Kimono, la 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 la, <laughs> fuck the shit. Well, I, I call it Ken, my friends, yes. <laughs> Car- it's it's Karma Friends. Karma Friends? Karma. Just show me the Karma Friends. I don't think there's been a chameleon yet. Give me a Karma, trend. Karma, 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 Chameleon. Thank you, Pino. Come cool. and go. There was a petition. Red, white, and blue. I signed the petition. Did you really? Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> he sounds so guilty. <laughs> was one of the 20,000 overnight signatures it received, which wow. in total it received over uh, 54,000, 
which 50,000 was their goal. But uh, you, know, the producer, you know the way petitions don't work, do they? No. <laughs> no, this is a corporate decision, which uh, I'll go over here momentarily. But the producer of the show, who was there for season one as well as two, um, Yoshitada Fukuhara, oh. broke the news later that Tetsuki would definitely not be returning. And he apologized profusely in that tweet. And it was very heartbreaking to read. Damn. And I cried. I actually remember that. I remember they posted it on Reddit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it, it happened like almost right after we watched it. Yeah, and that was that was the wild thing. I was just like, whoa, like yeah. Well, that maybe was, that I should have been the, a little nicer to the show, man. <laughs> well, well, that was that was that was the first instance of uh, this podcast having extra normal powers. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you know, but we Nichi watched Joe Akira. Akira is getting a remake that me and Chuck has always wanted yeah. to happen. Nietzsche Joe's coming out. Well, Lordy has getting a dub. Um, what else? What else happened? There's a couple other like think, really like close I think, things. I think uh, Sunshine got a movie right after Sunshine, we watched it. Maybe. I don't know for sure though. There was a couple things. Hold up. Uh, when we watched Black Lagoon, the guy was like, "Hey, I'm going to start writing Black Lagoon again." Oh yeah. There's g- guys. I know that not a lot of people listen to this podcast, but apparently the anime gods listen to this podcast, so I think that's all we need, really. <laughs> Shout-outs to them. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Okay. Uh, so, um, <laughs> am I good to continue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead. Cool. So, voice actresses, there were a bunch listed. Uh, Yuka, Saki, Dude, I love Yuka. An- Aina, Ikuko, it's my favorite potato. Kana, Mikoi, Ruka... And Kyoka appeared on the Kimono Friends Nico Family Special Number Thirteen Kimono <laughs> Friends Hour streaming yep. program on Tuesday. Um, by the way, this section is verbatim from Anime News Network. Um, Shout out to Anime News Network! Woo! Yeah, they're um, when I was researching this, they were pretty much the only source I had to go off of because everything else was in Japanese. So, <laughs> but I, it's in I, Japanese. I, I, <laughs> Get these Japanese letters off of me. So, la, 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 la. if I'm missing parts of the story, it's probably because I could not understand what the articles were saying. What's that squiggly line saying? <laughs> the I don't know. Actresses, I just draw a fancy doodle. <laughs> they publicly apologized uh, mm. for the ongoing issues, despite having little to nothing to do with the corporate decision to remove Tatsuki. Viewers criticized the apology as a ploy by Karokawa to pull out the, quote, voice actress guard, end quote, to deflect blame off the company. Sounds like Very a bunch strange. of big words I don't understand. Me either. But um, people were still pissed off. They weren't happy by that. And um, as Chuck brought to my attention, um, I remember watching this whenever the show was still airing, but a free unofficial episode 12.1 short released on Ooh. YouTube in Nico Nico the week after the show ended. Uh, allegedly, this was one of the factors included in Tetsuki's departure from the project. And to this day, the videos received nearly 2.5 million and 3 million views on YouTube and Nico Nico, respectively. I gotta watch it. Bless you. It was pretty okay. I mean, it looks like season one, so you'll have to be prepared to... Go back oh, to the don't season worry. One we'll look. talk about season one all during the season two podcast. Don't worry. So, speaking of, since we just finished the show's, the season's sort of history, let's go over our history uh, a bit more in depth here. So, who wants to go first? Nobody? I'll go. Cricket! cricket. <laughs> oh, shoot. I, where's my cricket? Ah! Okay, I'll go first. Thank you. Okay. Oh, go that ahead. was a good that was, one. That was, that was boss. That was very impressive. That was Boss Baby, dude. Okay. I make a lot of bug noises. Dude, is Boss Baby wet, though? <laughs> I wouldn't want that. All right, so as, uh, as to no one's surprise, we all watched this during season one, of course, and uh, we all had differing opinions, one of which we can't let go of. <coughs> uh, however, don't, you, don't you dare. Hey, don't well, you well, dare bring me into ah! this. <laughs> Stop. Hey. Hey. I say it every other episode, though. How uh, dare you. But uh, as you know, we, we all had our opinions, right? And when uh, when I realized we were going to watch season two, uh, my heart sank a little bit. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to watch it again, but like, who knows? Maybe it'll be different. And it sure, lo and behold, it was a little different. But uh, it was worse. Well, uh, yeah, it's not it's not as it's not as I recall it, but it's not as it's not it's not it's not it's still not good. Guys, 
I'm here to tell you today that Kimono Friends 2 is a disappointment. <gasps> yep. And Kimono Friends 1, while I will very much admit has several flaws and it's reasonable for people to dislike the show, I liked it and I was excited to watch it, but then I said screw it, I'm not going I'm not going I'm not going to watch it when it was being released. And then I heard it was not great, so I'm like nice. Nice to see I didn't myself. waste my life on this. So could just push uh, so it back. we watched it now, and it, and I it took me so long to watch this show. We it's had two weeks to watch it, and I <laughs> watched probably t- eleven episodes in the last two days. Nice. Yeah, all of us Same. put it off. Yep. I finished it this morning. I finished. I it. finished it this afternoon. I finished it maybe like three hours, two hours ago, three hours. <laughs> I finished it like four hours ago. Oh god! As you can and see, I even watched it when it was airing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! How does it feel Kimono watching Friends it twice? Too bad. Oh, yeah. What'd you say, Pino? How does it feel watching it twice? Um, I feel equally as empty inside as I mm. did before. <laughs> it happens. Um, wow. but yeah, I watched the first Come on of Friends. I had a really good time with it. Like yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. It was simple. It was, it was simple, dumb fun. You know like, what? And sometimes that's all you need. It's, well, because we were I can we agree. like. I we watch so well we watch a lot of like oh the world's gonna end you gotta save it, but if you just have these and technically this is kind of that show too if you really like dig deep into it but <laughs> digging deep but, in Kimono friends look at this uh, fucking uh, idiot uh, over uh, here uh, 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 but if but like you know just surface level it's very much just like a fun anime with uh, a pretty fun opening and stuff like that but then oh and season two just f- f- fucked it up. Yep. <laughs> they f- fucked it up, Sega. <laughs> you <laughs> look how you massacred you my boy. It. Yeah. My boy, it's how you mass- just Sonic how all you over massacred again. my boy. Oh my well, god! Every yeah. property Sega touches, they destroy except Love Live, I guess. And Yakuza. It's I just love a, Yakuza. Oh yeah, um, that's true. No, um, <laughs> can we wait? I'm I'm putting this out there. Okay. Just like they did with Sonic. For Kimono Friends season we, three, Sonic we give it, we give it, we we fucking, we just Sonic Mania <clears throat> it and give it out to someone who cares about it, and then it will be good. <laughs> Wait a second, I have a much better idea. Okay. Okay. So Kimono Friends three is like Sonic three, right? We just add and knuckles. knuckles. <gasps> oh wait! We just need to add an echidna, and it becomes the best. It becomes the best show ever. Wait, Dude. I have an even better idea. Uh-huh. Yeah. What if y'all take those ideas? Uh-huh. Shove it up your ass. Wait a second. It's all up in there. Wait. I'm like BD. No. And if you got Funky that reference, good podcast. for you. No thanks. And um, but yeah, so let's talk about the show because we haven't talked about this show. Yeah, I'm not ready um, to talk about the show. We explicitly took that test so that we could put off talking about this show for as long as Two possible. weeks in a row. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Thank goodness we're watching something good next week. Hey, Woo! spoilers! We're watching something good next time. Woo! We better be. I picked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched the first episode already. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. It was, but it, it, I'm it's, excited. It's, it's it's infinitely better than both of the shows we've already watched the last two episodes. Better not be lying to me. Once I'm not again, lying. What, I, Pino, Pino, look at me in the face. I will. What I say the sentence. You, what I lie yes! to you. No. Konosuba wasn't that good. It was so good. <laughs> I'm gonna. Let's I'm talk Pino. about those OPs. <laughs> Pino, how dare you? My 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 score is set in stone, just like your your Kenmo <laughs> season one score. Is Dude, set in stone. I'm okay with it. I will, I'm okay with I, mine too. You know what? I fucking made my bed and now I gotta sleep in it. Yeah, so you know, you it know what? I made a cake and it fell on the floor. Okay. <laughs> you still have to eat it, though, you piece of garbage. Yeah, that's what that's, that's yeah. <laughs> so, opening, yeah. it sucked. What do you mean it, it sucked? Did not, it did not it suck. Did not it didn't suck. suck. I'm exaggerating. But it was, uh, compared to <laughs> You were exaggerating? I was about to, like, roast you, my fam. Compared to the first opening for season one, it's it's so hard to follow that opening up because it's well, yeah. so good. Yeah. And it changes with each new friend. Mm. Mm. That's a masterpiece of an opening. That's how you do it, okay, ladies that's and gentlemen. Okay, that's a bit strong, but it on my <laughs> But, yeah. Set opening two did not have nearly as much charm. Uh, 
And I'm yeah. sure Chuck, do you, you want to take the floor? Well, Pano, go, Pano, go you go first. Because I know every time <clears throat> I talk about something, you complain about me taking all your points. What do you mean all my po Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. See, see, this is the thing. Uh, I, I enjoyed uh, the opening myself. Yeah. Uh, even though, even though, I'll talk about the music first. Music, I think, was great. The first time I heard mm -hmm. it, I think I, sh I shared it with you guys. I thought it sounded like uh, the, the scene from The Mask when they're in the, uh, the uh, Coco Bongo. <laughs> and uh, the, for the first time. And then he spins around that drummer, and then he, he gives him, like, a swagged out outfit. That's what. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't even want to say this, but I felt so excited. I was like, "Yo, is this is this show gonna be good?" And I realized it was Kenmo friends, and I was like, mm. "Don't, don't get question. your hopes up." Yeah. How many times a week do you think about the mask? Oh, <laughs> I am the mask. <laughs> uh, Continue. But no, uh, it's the song just makes me want to just like jam out. Yeah. And then they, when they when they do the little chorus thing like dun, 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 that's 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 choice because yeah. they do a tiny little hop and you know how much I like hops. And we all know. That's they, true. They, they um, hops. It's great. Other than that, uh, everything else was, was subpar. It was just like yeah. slideshow. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like slideshow OP is not good. Like like Kimono Friends opening one is also kind of a a, a, a slideshow too. So I'm like I'm not gonna compare the two because they're pretty close. But there's some distinct differences. Uh, it's a fun, it's a fun opening. You know, there's a lot of PNGs in there. <laughs> but you, oh, um, you, wait, no, you, yeah, yes, yes, they rendered those and just took a screenshot. Right, they absolutely right. did. And okay, so I have a gripe with this fucking show. <gasps> so, so in this opening, there's one shot where it's the camera that pans up and around Serval, and she looks up Several. into the sky. And it's animated in 24 frames. Yeah. So in ones, like how animation in 3D should be, so it doesn't look stunted. Yeah. So it looks great. Yeah. It's a great piece of animation. Yeah. Guys, the rest of the show isn't like that. <laughs> it's not. What do, you, what do you mean? It's so what bad, dude. It's, it's animated on like fours. What do you it's mean? It's so bad. It's what animated you, every, every four frames. There's six frames a second, I bet. I, I didn't check it out. I didn't count because I was lazy and it wasn't worth my time. Dude. But this show legitimately looks like a slideshow. <laughs> it looks like a PowerPoint presentation. It's like someone tried to animate using a, like a PowerPoint and this is what they got. There's one part where you can literally see where... Whenever they're trading off the stick during the race with yeah. the no pants, they literally, like, they didn't rotate the hands at all. They just moved it on, um, I, I guess, the Z-axis, and it looks so bad. It looks Not so my Z-axis. And that oh. combined with the fact that it fucking, uh, it's in such a low frame rate, it's so bad. And there's another yeah. part... Where you can see where they started motion capping for PvP. Mm -hmm. the, oh my god, group. don't, don't, we'll talk about that later. We're talking about the opening. I want to get yeah. angry no, at that No, so later. the opening, I'm, I'm going to go through a little bit more. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of slideshow PNG shit. And there's a lot of, you know, looping animation, especially with the, the train ride thing. And uh, it, it frustrates me so much. Because it's a good opening. Good so It's a good song. The opening's okay. It works. You know, it's a happy, has big band. Someone left their phone on in the beginning of it. You know, it happens. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Had to, ta had to take it in one take, you know, had to ship it out. You know, it was the day before. Corporate's going to kill but, us if we waste this film. <laughs> but, like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's a fine opening. The There's... song's really fun. I don't, I, I, one of the biggest things I want to say during this entire session I do not want to sound like I'm shitting on any of the voice actors. They did a fantastic job for what they got. Yes. <laughs> they, they've done great stuff. PPP did the singing for the opening and their own insert songs. Mm -hmm. Great. Everything else, <laughs> though, fucking sucks. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, man. It's just what frustrating. Sucks? Everything else. Like, <laughs> like, albeit Kimono Friends... That their first opening, or their only opening, I guess, has the same kind of level of production, mm -hmm. I will say. 
So, like, you know, there's some slower uh, just pans and PNGs and shit. But, like, I don't know. You can't beat J- Welcome to Japari Park. Like, holy shit. Yeah. That, that, they struck gold with that one. That was probably why the show was so successful, was because that opening Because was of that so and Triple Q's remix, and they're like, this is it. Yeah, now dude. I have to watch the anime. Because even, even Pine and also, will still hum it now. I must, I must admit, no, 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 no. Oh, the shoot, voice actors sing in this opening, and that's very good. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's PPP and as well as the other characters, so just saying. But anyway, yeah, commend, commend, Commendo Friends 2 is okay, opening-wise. Now, the endings. I was surprised there was two. I think they were both very good endings. I, oh, um, I like the songs. Um, I wasn't. I, too, I, I wasn't a fan of the. Well, okay, I'm. I'm lying. I'm gonna start with ending one. What's ending one? Ending? Yeah, ending one was good. What was it called? That's the one with the guitar. Hoshi wo, too soon nagate. Ah, too soon. No gete. Too soon. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed it. It was nice. And, it was nice and slow, like you know, it, like an ending should be, or you know, it mm-hmm. reflects the show. Like, hey, I just had a bunch of time with my friends. Now I just want to relax yeah. a little bit. I enjoyed the little hand-drawn uh, mm-hmm. little doodles. That was my favorite part. Yeah. Even though they it's, were still like PNGs, that was yeah. very charming. As well. I enjoyed I'd that. See, the thing is, it, between the, between screenshots of models and like hand-drawn stuff. Like, I love that. And especially it fits with a theme that Q, 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 review, whatever the fuck they, <laughs> the human name is. Like, it, it's, it's stylized enough that you're like, okay, this is good. And, it, you know, it shows the three main characters kind of going around. And it has a fun, and it has a fun, like, kind of music. And, and it has, you know, many frames during their animated parts. And that's yeah. always fun. So, and... It's stylized with these little outlines. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I think really is, is really fun, except for at the end. Or not at the end, but like at one of the parts, all of the particles come up through it, and it kills any compressed video. Like, it's... it's oh, actually, yeah. It, I, I'm it actually watching it right it. now. I'm just like, oof. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. But overall, like, that's a, that's a good ending, I'd say. Yes. I enjoyed it a lot. The song's really good. It plays with the motif of the... Of the notebook and drawing and everything and traveling and it has movie. enough style on the three D models themselves because there's some different coloring and definition on them and it's it's kind of like they tried to JoJo it a little bit change the <laughs> color schemes like a little bit <laughs> but wait, like wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. man yeah I see it a little bit I, I see wish what you're they about. I God I wish the show had enough frames but they just gave up halfway through we'll talk more about that later yep. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, ending one, we I think we all liked it. Yeah. Thought it was pretty pretty yeah. alright, pretty good. Ending two, we can't find oh. it on YouTube, so I haven't been able to watch it again. Guys. I, I have it I have it open on Crunchyroll. Are you and ready to play melee? Oh good idea. Oh my god. It's literally just the trophy viewer in melee and they panned around a three D model of the three main characters. I love it. But it no, but it doesn't have any of the lines on it. <clears throat> Like it doesn't well, have any definition on the characters. It's like it's like it didn't render. Like they they, they yeah yeah yeah. So it looks like like early early PS2 graphics mm-hmm. and like it, it looks so it looks so off. Yeah, that's the thing. Like the first ending, while it has a different like definition on the on the art and the colors yeah. and whatnot, still looks like it. Yeah, and then it this looks looks good. like a PVC figure that you got, you know, for twenty dollars at y- this random anime shop in your ha- in your town. Yeah, I don't know, man. And it and it and it doesn't it doesn't have any animation. It has this one like flying particle thing through the whole thing, and then it just uh, focuses in on this, uh, like three 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 D models, I guess. And then that's it. That's the ending. And I'm like, why did you take away the first ending, which is good both with song and thematically? There was probably a good and reason. replace it with nothing. <laughs> they, yeah, they had something. Mm-hmm. No, they, yeah, yeah, they had they. Oh my god! I got. I was surprised when they changed it. I was like, "Oh, are we yeah, entering I was like, something I was new? Like, What's going on?" I was here? like, "Do we have enough budget for a second one?" And then I realized they didn't, and they just put a three D model and then moved the camera around. Continue. No, game <laughs> over. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm watching it still. I'm watching game. them fade in. They like build up on it too. 
Yeah, and and then it and then it, and then, it, and then it then it focuses in on these these not great looking. I think it's supposed models. to be uh, like buy our merchandise. I think it's supposed to look like a shitty figure. It really does. Yeah, it looks like it's made of like a cheap plastic. It really does fucking look like melee like trophy model. Yeah, figures, though. right. Like, it's crazy. got too much. It's 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 like somebody. This is I'm going into modeling terms. It looks like somebody used like a Blin and a Lambert at the same time. Shout out <laughs> to all those people who know what I'm talking about. Woo. Yeah. No. Um. And I think we're done talking about the ending because it's just stinky. Yeah. Um. But also at the at the end past the endings they have <clears> little <throat> uh little character interactions between characters that you don't see in this that you've already know about. Mm-hmm. Oh, like a and little it's in next al- it's time. in it's in yeah, it's in it's in Alpaca's like little coffee shop from the first season. Oh, what a doll. And I wish the show would have just been that. Well, yes, yeah, so, but, it, and, but it, it, it's it's made in like a paper craft style, which once again, if you stylize your things, I'm okay with I'm it in. being Yeah, I'm in with you. Less than stellar, like graphics, like animation wise, mm-hmm. and it like it's a it's a fun style. Yeah, but like, oh, man, and it's kind of just but, like a throwaway bit, so it's kind of surprising. Yeah, yeah that that's 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 the real big thing. I'm like, they had to make all this. Yeah, when, and and instead <clears> of <throat> taking twice the rendering time to animate it in twos, because that's all they need to do, and just add in between frames between it. But like, you know, don't do it. I guess. <laughs> I might, yeah, I might. I might be saying something controversial later on, but I'm not gonna say it now because uh, I don't think it's the time. Okay. Are we ready to move on to the story? Uh, yeah, what sure. story? Fortunately, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to Thank go God. over. <laughs> this is gonna be the shortest episode of the podcast ever. <laughs> Dude, I will happily take that. God, so, I hope so. <laughs> we start with a bootleg caban waking up. Yeah, whatever house. <laughs> what a surprise! I gotta thank God. <laughs> what a surprise! They have amnesia. God. Um, God. You know what? I, fi- I think I finally understand why amnesia. Chuck doesn't like amnesia. <laughs> yeah, because it's dumb and a stupid trope. It's overused. Well, it's like, gotta, you need to use. You can, it needs to be you used need to in a smart use it way. Correctly. Yes. Yeah. But when you just say, <laughs> "I guess what? There's a character here. Doesn't know what shit they're doing." <laughs> what I show wanna, is this? Who hired yeah, exactly. Me? It's like it's like I was in JoJo's a little bit ago, and instead I'm in this dumb friggin' kimono friends. It's 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 such a overused one, and it's never used correctly. <laughs> like not like there's barely any examples. Like I can't think of one off the top of my head that like is good amnesia. Because you know, it's usually better if you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can that's write the something thing. much more meaningful. Like, or just instead of doing that, just introduce them to a new environment without having to erase all their memories, like they did with like Durarara, with mm-hmm. uh, with what's his stinky tiny face uh, going into Tokyo, oh, going oh. into hello, what's not me? Tokyo. Oh wait, no, that's hey, jacuzzi. Yeah, that's jacuzzi. <laughs> hey, jacuzzi. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. I'm getting my voices mixed. <laughs> you know, it's it's Mikado Ryugamine. <laughs> um, but hey, yeah, Henry. like. Like, like he he's he's introduced to this new space that he does not know about, and it you can use that as your explanation. Like he needs to learn about it, and therefore gives us the information. Yeah. And the thing is, we already know about all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like we've watched the. If you're gonna watch Kimono Friends season two, you already have seen Kimono Friends season one somehow. And so why would you? have to explain all this stuff to me again because they're using the same formula because i forgot i'm gonna shoot my toes off <laughs> because they, they did it. the same thing in season one and so they just Bang. were like fuck it we'll oh. do it again that'll be easy the toes are everywhere <laughs> all ten of them <laughs> thought you had nine god but i yeah. wish i had i wish i could not watch this anime ever again which i won't i'm sorry yeah. guys this is this is one of those flat no redeeming qualities that i will ever return to I will return to the song. Will be good. Well, yes, yeah. I'll put those on my playlist, but I will never yeah. look at this <laughs> the show ever again. I've got the ED on mine because it's you know it's a good song. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so she meets Serval and Carcel, several a new friends, uh, several and uh, carcinogen, who oh her no, Kududu, <laughs> not, not charcoal. Oh no. <laughs> it's established that Kududu likes to draw and That's is trying to find her, her home. 
<gasps> that's it. That's yeah. that's the character. That's it. Yeah. And she's it's, like, it's just, I like the what what they did is they took Bagchan and then just changed the hat and took one feather out. Yeah, and, and gave changed, him a notebook. Like, that's it. Changed the sparkle color in her eye of one of the eyes. <laughs> yeah. New why does, too. Is, was that ever just explained, or did I just like completely no. miss that? Just like, why is one eye green? No. no. Of course it's not explained. Nothing is explained in this show. Guys, this show's mm-hmm. awful. It's like the lost of... It's like the lost of anime, but it gets canceled after the first season, so there's no answer. Oh, shoot. And Lost lasted a long time. I know. That's what I'm saying. There's a bunch of setups and no answers. Yeah. So, they go on all sorts of fun and wacky adventures, meeting friends such as Duck, Giant Panda, <laughs> Red Panda, Dolphin, I, and Sea Lion. Duck was and good. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Yeah, Duck was was one of the highlights of the season. It makes me sad. The best set of friends, Duck, Panda, like Red Panda and uh, Giant Panda, they were all within the first two episodes. Mm -hmm. And those were the best ones. I actually didn't enjoy Panda too much. Uh, I love no. Panda. I enjoyed. I enjoyed the uh, the killer whale. No, not killer whale. The sea. The the sea seal lion. and the uh, yeah, dolphin. Seal. I enjoyed them. Dolphin very and well. sea lion were so cute. <laughs> hey no. yo, where's my oh. reward? No, no. So 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 the thing is, the thing is, um, I saw an article online, and it was it was about how they could uh, make Kimono Friends a little bit better, and they took screenshots from the show. And it shows that the eyes it don't line up with anything mm-hmm. half the time. If you Google Kimono Friends, it's one of the first things that shows it's, up. Really? It's so sad. No, yeah, so like if you if you freeze it on like any time, there's like a couple shots where it it's literally just them not looking at like the right thing. Or it's pretty funny. Or I think I think there's a couple screenshots of the characters like unintentionally spiking the like the camera for like I don't know how they did that. But what do you mean spiking the camera? You just stare at the camera. Like oh. if you if you make eye contact with the camera, that means you spike the camera. And, oh, dude. and the footage is useless. John Krasinski okay. looks at the camera all the time. I know he spikes that's, the camera for a living. That's um, different. No, but yeah. I'm looking so, at the camera and, right and now. Even, and even in Kimono Friends One, they do it. Like they show where it's looking. Like I don't know how you devolve a show so much. It's because it's a different studio, and it was no, but, a different director. This is basically but, like a new but, show. They had everything. Yep. They could, they could, they could just watch the show and then just replace the models again. And yeah, you got Kimono Friends season two. That's it. That's all they did. They changed the models. I, know, I will say the they, models this season was, were much, much more well, yes, clean. Yes. They were very clean. Yes. I enjoyed. They were I enjoyed clean. the. Uh, they are, they are good much models. personality. But I like the derpiness of the first that, ones. That is the problem that Garb just put up. There was no personality. There was, and 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 just like There's no Chuck heart. said, there, he showed me a clip. It was today. He showed me a clip of season <sighs> one. He showed me how how intricate the animations were. There was there was details. There were subtleties in season one that they completely opted out to make it look like it was drawn, even though it wasn't drawn. It was 3D. It was like, huh, I'm going to move now. And yeah, exactly. now. Uh, and now. And there's now. my Q-frame. And there's commercial. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Oh, commercials, too. They don't have the zoo, like, eye catches. They have it no sucks, eye catches dude. in the show. I'm so angry about that. Those it's were because, so fun. It's because it would have taken production volume. Uh, but no, I don't know uh, these animals. What the hell's a several? No, see, see, that's the. Th- <laughs> well, they actually explained that one. But what oh. they need, they all they did was took a took the 3D model and put it on a flat PNG, and that's all they did. And they had someone talk over it, and it was so much fun. And then they didn't do it. They, it was like real. Um, you know, audio of someone discussing it too. That wasn't a recorded, like you know, person in a booth. That was someone. I mean, he, the person the was in a booth. They were talking about. The person if, was if in a booth, you, but in, in the, at the zoo if, booth. You know. If you if you people yeah. if people only know this in the last episode from this podcast, I usually don't get like this, <laughs> but I just get so fed up and worked up over things that could easily be changed, and it would have been way better. And the but thing they is, didn't. The thing about the eye catches is that this show directly uh, related to um, what was it? Um, there was an increase in zoo visits in Japan yeah. because of the show, and you know there was the whole grape coon uh, situation. God, God rest, rest his peace. soul. God rest his peace, my man. Let's but, let's have a moment of silence for grape coon. All right. 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't remember who Grave Coon was. All right, let's move on. Wait, do you really not remember? Was he the um? He was the penguin that had a cutout of one of the PPPU oh, penguins, and he uh, and, and passed he was away. enamored oh, with that cutout. Okay, and let's died. let's actually have a moment of silence then. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Dude, Grape Coon. Remember, you can find me on Twitter. Roast me there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, that's that's the kind of stuff that made season one so special, and yeah. season Is two there, was so corporate. Yeah, there's. Uh, oh my god, that's that's another thing. So, with season one, mm-hmm. albeit the models are less, everything else is more. Animation, the funny little character interactions. There's more comedy. In the first one. This yeah, is supposed to be true. a fun romp. And instead, fun I was wanting to town. sleep. <laughs> where, where am I and I don't want to sleep all the time. I do, actually. That's a lie. But I don't want to sleep while watching my animes. Like how, just like how, I, how my family watches their soaps. I want to watch my animes. <laughs> my show's on, honey. What my are you show's on, honey. What are you don't, watching? Don't disturb Temo, me. Friends. Komodo friends. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't disrupt it's, your father. It's just, it's so frustrating. There's so many, like, little things that they just didn't do in Mm -hmm. this new season. And it suffered for it, just straight up. (laughs) It was... Ugh. I don't remember thematically what season one was about. It was, it was, he he was just... uh, It was kind of just friendship, right? Yeah, it was just friendship, and he's like, I need to go find what the fuck I am. Yeah, it was more about exploring the world and yeah, it was oh, mystery. Yeah. It was you know, a lot but of season two, I don't right? know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, you two, were you also hated it. I hated That's it true. because I there was there's a, other reasons why I hated it. I still don't know. Even with this season, I don't know who the audience was intended for. Oh, this, we have no idea. And once they yeah, took no. away, once they took away I the 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 the, 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 the like eye catchers with the announcer lady, I got even more lost. <laughs> Wasn't this supposed so, to be educational? What happened? Pino, yeah. you've brought up a very good point, and I think a big problem with losing, um, what was his name? Um, T- Takeshi. Oh, no, that's the <laughs> other guy. That's the singer. Takeshi Tezuka. Um, Tatsuki. There we um, go. Another thing about Tatsuki leaving was that um, he was the only one, he was the only person on Earth who knew what the target demographic was. I would love to meet the man and understand the demographic. And now that he's not attached to the show, the new directors have no idea either. And they're, so they're, they're like... They're uh, animal girls. They're for kids. Yeah. No. They're for weebs. No. They're for both. Yeah, exactly. So they don't really know what to do with the show either. And you know that's what? why season two sucks. You know what? Chuck Chuck was talking to me earlier. He said about the charm. I think I finally understand the charm of season one, which was yeah. the announcer lady. That's yeah. that's that's what I enjoyed. You're right. It, it's like... it's it's It's... It's just the things that you don't think about at the time. You're like, oh, that's pretty fun. Yeah. And then it's missing, and you're like, you don't know what you got. Something's, I, gone. something's, I never, something's gone or muck. I never knew something could get worse. That's the thing. And that was my that was my greatest disappointment. Rip, dude. It sucks. Yeah. I know. Let's take a moment it's of silence. In season, yeah, a moment thing. of silence, please. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> um, so, season one was pretty slowly paced, but it was at least consistently slowly paced. You know what? You're right, and I can agree with that. Whereas this show can go, like, one scene, like, halts to a crawl. Oh, my God. They're, okay. I want to talk about that as well. Yes. So, there's an episode where there's a cheetah and a roadrunner. Oh, did you see the beep on her shirt? Beep. Yes, I did. <laughs> God, it's so weird. It's so jarring, but I love it at beep, the beep. same time. But, it's pretty good. So the thing is with this episode, it's usually like, you know, you meet a bunch of friends and, you know, you solve a problem and whatnot. Right. This is just literally running. This, no, it's it's just I'm better than you. <laughs> no, yeah, I yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm better, I'm better than, than you. you. We're going we're gonna to have the looping running animation for, for <laughs> 10 minutes. And that's it. Where where did the idea go in this episode? What was the point? I feel like there there was was no no point. point. Well, that's the thing is that especially season one had such good episodes like the ones with Lion where there was a conflict and Caban had to be the one to solve it because Caban was the human who was able to introduce these new ideas. I have big brain brain. Caban and you are a little brain animal. So they (laughs) they tried to do this again with the gorilla. It doesn't work. And it doesn't work at all the because smarter. instead of instead of you know creating and no it's literally the same thing it's two feuding thing 
two feuding factions and they're like, oh no, how are we going to do this without like fighting and whatnot? And so Caban gives them a ball and like, you know, they can play with the ball and whatnot. So like real, real shit, they can do competitive things. And with the, with Kiriru, um, she makes them a paper cutout. <laughs> and they punch a punch a box until right. one of them falls over. <laughs> what the what? What you do? They're animals. Of course yeah, they'll they're... be distracted. No, but give them a ball. Or just don't do this plot cuz you've you know, done it before. You're right. It's already happened. We know how this will play out. Boxing. Make, make one with the gorilla. But instead of trying to separate the two factions, maybe the gorilla wants them to fight. And then maybe, maybe <laughs> I the, the see human, blood. no, no. And then maybe the human's like, hey, maybe this isn't the best idea. Maybe they should just be friends and do some, do like some conflict along that. Have a malicious friend. But instead, <laughs> you do the same plot points every time. Uh, and yeah. this is why people don't like season two. I hate it. <laughs> Da, 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 Jeopardy Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As much as I love, uh, oh, as much ahead. as I love the uh, the sea dog, uh, the sea dog, and the the, the killer dolphin, uh, their whole story I feel was unnecessary as well. <laughs> Give oh, me yeah, a reward. Absolutely. They were just cute. Reward. I like that. That's the that's my favorite part. Where they're like, hey yo, hey, yo, no reward, you ain't getting back to shore, Caracol. <laughs> See, that was that was <laughs> funny. That was, that was that was funny. But like, it's. Like, and then I was I, upset <laughs> because Caracol I watched, was sad. I watched the show today and I can't remember half of the things that happened. Dude, when I was writing the thing up, I couldn't remember for the life of me Kiriru's name. I was like, what yeah, the that's fuck why is this protagonist's name? It's just she... a stomach movement. It's just her bowels Kiriru. moving. <laughs> Bow, can we call her bowel Ooh. movement from now on? <laughs> bowel chan. <laughs> bowel chan, dude. Bow -chan. So bowel chan was pretty good. Just kidding. Bowel chan was garbage. Worst bag chan. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in the characters. Yes. Yeah, well, we haven't. Are of... we? No, we haven't. We haven't done all the plot. Yet. All right. Uh, so yeah, well, we can right. describe. Okay, everybody. We're we're gonna start in our order, right? We're gonna start in alphabetical order. Garb, Chuck, and me. And <laughs> then That's how it is. We're gonna describe each episode. Okay. But it, it, we describe our numbers. So Garb is one because he's he's, okay. he's the first on the list, and then Chuck okay. And so then me. Garb, you go first. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. What was the first describe episode one. Script written. Are you gonna uh, just? Am I just supposed to throw this out? Uh, yeah, you, just throw it out. No, I'm okay. Fine. You worked so Fuck hard on it. Let's bitch. listen to it. <laughs> so there's two. Weird okay, episode one. <laughs> no, we've already gone over episode one. Oh. Okay, so episode two. <laughs> we've already gone through episode two. Episode three. Okay, so episode three. So at the end of episode three or whatever, there's an armadillo and a giant pangolin, which I don't know what that is, uh, and they're it's, spying. It's a, it's, it's a rolly one. Oh, okay. And Isn't that's that just mysterious. an armadillo? No, they find that's a monorail. Armadilly. They fuck around some. They meet hey, some new Billy. friends. And they eventually find Kaban Chan from season one. A familiar face. <gasps> she looks good. Was, even mm -hmm. though she's probably still a child. <laughs> I don't. I, I, that's the thing, is that. I don't, I don't know. know. She didn't. She wasn't taller, but she looked older. Age doesn't. Age doesn't Stop. exist in Japan. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Don't say that. Ah! Stop! Stop right there, criminal scum. <laughs> you violated um, the law. Anyway, I have no idea if Kaban was planned to return or because... It's, it seems so shoehorned and it couldn't have been, right? Mm -hmm. I Well, the thing is that they brought it together. Like, at the end, it made sense that uh, she was there. Well, but yeah, but when you have six episodes to do it, I think you can, yeah. you can cobble together anything you want Dude, with some. enough time. But... Dude, there was a uh, lot hey, of Mario, I, I have fucking it up the cobblestone generator. Please don't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi! Yes? I'm -a gonna jump on your noggin. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna spawn the creeper on you. <laughs> I'm going to say the J word. No! Jump on He's gonna say the H word here, O'Brien. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Mario, not a hero, Brian. Mario, please hit him right. I still get a nightmare. He was patched out of Minecraft, but he keeps patching himself back in. Oh. <laughs> I want to play Terraria. Oh, please, I want to fight those flying eyeballs. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Mario, I died. 
<laughs> Why? It's me, Wario. Let's play tabletop. <laughs> no, please. Wario, you always play... want to play Uno. <laughs> I want to. We're going to play Minecraft Uno today. Did you say, you Dennis, can... it's me, Waluigi? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> What Where the fuck happened? did this episode go? What did we do? I don't know. I spaced out for a minute there. <laughs> I think the Ceruleans. I think the Ceruleans got to us. <laughs> Guys, if you're at SmashCon, I'm not going to be there. It's a Cerulean, not me. Fight yeah. it to the death. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's Ghosty. It's Guile. He's in Smash. What's Kyle here? <laughs> Sonic, boom. Sonic? Boom. Wow, that was really cool. Episode, episode of Bogchan. Bogchan was there. That was fun. So, eventually... Um, oh, Wait, I want to complain about something. Okay, I complained about this earlier. Okay, they, they all hang out at Bag Chan's apartment, right? They're all chilling there, yeah. and then they're like, "Hey, meet my meet the professors. The professors. You when God, you think fuck of professor, those guys. these fuck those, those professors, I hate those professors are smart people, right? They are they are no. educated, right? Right? Is that what a professor is? Right? They're they're no. scientific, right? They at least read their textbooks, right? Uh -huh. Bag Chan no. has a dream. Ceruleans come underwater. Tells these birds. She's like, yeah, I think uh, I think the Ceruleans come underwater. <laughs> Kiru Chan, you're wrong. Kiru Chan takes one of their books. Is like, uh, bro, do you see this right here? Um, it's called an underwater volcano. God. And they're like, oh shit, dog. <laughs> they're like, it's like Oof. and and I was just upset the fact that they dismissed her. You were right. Oh my god, let's let's now make you afraid of heights by flying you above the sea. <laughs> <laughs> For real though, dude. God. Those fucking owls are a bunch of. As much heads. as I got mad at that, it, I just it just made me laugh in my mind. I'm like, oh god, this is Kimono friends, all right. Yeah, I and the owls oh my god. still stare into space and look as dead inside as I do. Yeah. <sighs> they find okay, a monorail. Go. go <laughs> they do. Yeah, and they drive their little truck around on it. And they fuck thing. around. Then the dog and comes up. Yeah, and then they get attacked by Ceruleans, and then they find a. I thought a, a we were gonna beast. have a Hachi moment there. Have you guys seen the movie Hachi? I've yeah. watched Hachi Maki. Okay, no. Uh, well, I thought That's we were gonna have a. Me. I thought we were gonna have a Lassie moment here. Where does Lassie die at the end? <laughs> well, yeah, Lassie does <laughs> die. Okay, yeah, I thought we were gonna have a Lassie scene right there. I was like, ah, this is what I. Oh. Spoilers, by the way. Duh. I Lassie's I the what? Like a fifty-year-old movie? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't watched Lassie. <laughs> Probably don't live in the United States. I'm just kidding. If, if you haven't watched Lassie, you don't have to watch Lassie. You're not missing anything. You're not. No. What's that, Lassie? Pino stuck in the well. I will screw him. Okay. You gotta watch Old Yeller though. But anyway, Old Yellow. He, <laughs> um, they they meet a beast, uh, which I think is a tiger. I don't actually I got know. You. Um, Sorry. And they get attacked by Ceruleans, and yeah. Um, the fucking, they straight up kidnap. Yeah. Kid yeah. yeah. They do. They That's just fucked eat up. It's true. Guys, Snuggle. I just watched. I just watched a video of a cat and a cow snuggling, and that was better than Kimono Friends too. <laughs> cat and a cow snuggling. Can you link it, please? Cows can't sit down. It says you. It's on Twitter. But cows can't sit down. That's a fake video. Oh, fuck fake right. news, dude. Fake news. That was actually a dog in a cat outfit. Oh hey, no! Kirudu do is a piece of fucking shit. What do you mean? She fucks off and abandons her dog. Well, that's not her dog. That dog kidnapped her. What do you mean? No, that no, dog kidnapped. No, that dog no, straight no. up kidnapped her. What are you talking no, no, about? Garb, no, Garb. Garb st said it the wrong way. He straight up left. I farted, sorry. Um, he straight up, <laughs> <laughs> straight up left um, Serval in Karacha. Oh, and, well, that's and true, And then too. she's like, F play! And then Karacha's like, fuck you, Karama. bitch! And then Karama left. Do you see how... I can't believe Karama left. She abandoned the domestic dog, though, whenever... Um, yeah, but the Serval domestic dog isn't that? hers! You don't know that. Yes, I <laughs> you do. Don't, you don't I read her. the big book. You don't know her life. I read the great big book of everything with everything inside to the world around us because it's a perfect guide. Wow. Oh. Thanks shout for out that. to that was funky shout fresh. out to the no one who gets that funky reference. Funky fresh Thanks. beats. 
funky fresh fucking beats. Fresh beats. <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about? We were I don't talking know. about her abandoning her friends and her dog. Anyway, Cuter Doo's a piece of shit. No, fuck she's it. not. Yeah, she, she was taken by her will and then hung out with a dog. That's it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. And then Fuck charcoal, Kinder charcoal, char charcoal oven was just like, no, you're not my friend anymore. And then they're like, oh well, I'm not your friend. Get out of here. And like, then they find a hotel. Yo, <laughs> it, it sinks into the ground, <laughs> do, 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 and they're like, do, do, oh, do, 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 do. no. Okay, so the human village looks like the like the like the like the entrance from Hotel Mario, where they go do 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 my brain played that when I saw it, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I'm sure she made spaghetti. lots of spaghetti. Mario, I hope she made lots of spaghetti. And you can help us, too. If you need help going through any of the hotels, you can check the instruction book and close. The closed instruction book. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, somebody had to do Bowser. Man. Yeah, they go to the hotel. You know, hotel Mario's iconic. We go to the hotel. There was a this cleaning pig there, right? This little piggy that was cleaning. That was cool, I think. Yeah. That, well, pigs yeah. are actually very clean animals. You sh God, you're they just my... roll around in mud because that's the only way they can keep cool. Other than that, they actually have a designated corner of their pens that they'll poop in. <laughs> um, it's, he a, said it's a very common misconception. I grew up around <laughs> farmers. This actually is not a joke. This <laughs> is real. <laughs> you said you said poopy. <laughs> uh, it turns out Kududu's uh, drawings were uh, making ceruleans. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up, ain't it? I you can't believe creative minds yeah, are I the was, downfall I, okay. of society. That's what I was going to say, is that thematically, I have no idea how that fits into anything. I've tried looking at it from every perspective I could. I thought, okay, maybe, like... Things with good intentions can have negative Guys, consequences. I don't think you understand. Uh, These were the anti-spirals. <gasps> I, I guess. That's a, They're anti-spirals. Yeah. Did you figure it out? No. Wow. I wanted to good. sound like I figured it out. Wow, you're can we fucking... Talk? Okay, so you after weren't that, supposed to do to, that. <laughs> they, go, they go to the hotel and they're like, fuck. And then Pigeon's like, hey, thanks for this picture that you drew me. And then they're like... The Ceruleans are taking over because the pictures you drew, and then QU is like, oh man, I hate myself. And then she's like, just kidding, let's go back to the island. And then they're like, let's fight all Ceruleans. And then we finish. That was cool when they fought the and Ceruleans. Then, and then Bag Chan sees. Um, Serval. On the several. beach. There's yeah, several of her. <laughs> she sees her on the beach and she cries and she's like, Why couldn't I be the star of this season? Why couldn't I be the star? <laughs> Why did they give this season over to a different company? Guys, <laughs> next next season we're going to get Studio Madhouse to, uh, oh God. to, to animate the Have next we, I want friends. Trigger, though. Dude, could you imagine Wait, no, fucking no, no. Studio I, Trigger? I want, I, want it, I want it to be Trigger, but still using 3D models, so they have to like, do squash and stretch on the models. Whoa. <laughs> that would be great, dude. What are you talking about? I want, I want to do it. I want, so, the very last it. scene, they pulled a JoJo Part 3 on us, where God, we're looking so at dumb. the picture. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb, I hate it. And it's Domestic Dog looking at a drawing with Domestic Dog, a human I don't recognize, Carcel, uh, Kududu, Serval, the holograph lady from season one, um, and why, another like, unidentified The fact that she showed up there was just, like, why? <laughs> because they're foreshadowing a season three, I promise. I, stop. Stop it. I can't wait you, to watch that in ten years stop. and then mm -hmm. you complain you about it that. then. You stop that mm -hmm. right now. Nope. You stop. Nope. I won't allow this. I didn't pick it. I'm just reporting I, it as it is. <laughs> God, let's shoot the messenger. <laughs> what? <laughs> you haven't, you, you haven't watched Friends? Kimono Friends season, season three. Two. No, I'm not supposed to give my opinion. <laughs> but give but it a try. Crunchyroll makes it free. Crunchyroll, crunchy, you can watch your Crunchyroll right now. 14 day free trial if you use the code crunchyroll.com slash funky. <laughs> <laughs> funky, funky, the funky, funky. The Funky Anime Podcast is not actually sponsored or affiliated with Crunchyroll. Or, or funky, PewDiePie, even the though funky we anime, love PewDiePie. The Funky Anime <laughs> Podcast could be sponsored by Crunchyroll if they wanted to. We are open for negotiations. Email us at funkyanimepodcast.gmail.com. And, and Funimation, but not Garb. 
Yeah, Funimation, you can sponsor me and Pino, not Garb. Mm -hmm. And Cole and Mommy. And, and George. <laughs> Thanks, Get George. out of here. We're in the wrong episode. Fuck. Okay, bye. Bye. Those, how many, they how many episodes are we going to get in a row with them in it? A <laughs> recording yeah, session? You know, I'd, I'd be down if George was just here all the time. Okay. <laughs> That's um, Donkey Kong. Yeah. Remember when we said the same thing about Charlie? <laughs> Who's yeah, Charlie? Charlie's... Who? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, after that, who cares? Let's talk about characters. I'm already tired. <laughs> all right. So we well, got... I'm not already tired. I'm just tired of the show. We got Kududu. Uh, Kududu is just bootleg Kaban. Next character. You're right. S Human, two feathers instead of one. Serval has one. amnesia again. A fucking... Oh, God damn it. It's literally like season one over again. Like, it's Serval has not developed at all, so it doesn't feel like the show's gone anywhere. Yeah, it's f stupid. It's really annoying. It's not like... You know, Jojo has the... Um, ding -ding -ding Jojo counter, but... It really does have the ideal setup where each part has its own set of characters, and there's room to bring characters back if they want to. Well, yeah, but that's they don't have that's to. that's the thing. Is I, that it was a smart setup? Yeah. This, see, the thing they is, had they had a smart setup, but yeah. they botched it. Go ahead. Well, well, the smart setup was they had a new character, but then they <laughs> botched it by taking an old character. Yeah. That doesn't remember anything. See, if you started this with Carcall and fucking, I don't know, someone else, like maybe, maybe Duck. Let's just, just for, just, just for a little bit. Let's just say Duck. And start out with those. These all characters don't know what the hell's happening. And later you can meet Serval and Serval's can yeah. be like, oh, yes, I know this bag person. Here, let me take you to them. So you can still have your marketing. You can still have all your favorite characters. Blah, blah, blah. Just fucking give me a good plot. <laughs> He's so mad. Serval is kind of the Pikachu of Kimono Friends, where they need to have <sighs> Serval on screen at least half the episode to meet up with the... I was barely in dice. this episode! It says on my contract <laughs> that I'm supposed to be on the episode at least 25% of the screen time. This show is bad. Can we watch Bobo Bo again? Yes. What are we talking about next? Do you just want to... Oh, we're going over the characters. <sighs> Serval sucks. Serval's dumb. Carvel is a... Is a not, it's, it's just... It's just Discount Serval, who's a little bit more smug. Yeah, which, I mean, that goes a long way. Yeah. Especially <laughs> because Serval doesn't remember anything, but somehow Carcel does remember yeah. things. No, no, so, no, so, another weird thing. So, 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 Carcel talks about how... No, 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 <laughs> I don't need to talk about this. How Serval used to tell her that she went on an adventure with this friend... And, but then she doesn't remember this. So who, who told her? Who told her? <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> who? I need, I need to know. I don't, it's just frustrating. This entire series is fr this. <laughs> Season one was frustrating, but it was at least like charming. But it was fun frustrating. Yeah, but, at, you know, season two just sucks. Yeah. Oh, Scott the Waz uploaded. Fuck. We need to get this over with quick. <laughs> Please. Get this. I think we've hit over an hour. I think we've hit our quota. Uh, come on, friends. Characters. <laughs> uh, don't I'm look Googling at Mal it. because it only has a couple. No, I'm looking at the... Um, um we uh, have... The, okay, so we have... the Jabbery library. Where is it? There it we, is. We have, we, have the, uh, we have the penguins. They're here. They don't really do anything. Um, <laughs> Kaban. Most of the characters. Kaban doesn't really do much besides say, hey... Drink this tea. Yeah. Um. There's Pretty the Roadrunner who says beep beep. Um, yeah, Roadrunner is one of the one of the better characters. There's cheat. There's Cheetah who runs quick. That's her only character trait. Um. There's Deer. I think. Is her name Deer? What's her name? I don't care. She's in it. Um. We also have. God, you have it up right. <laughs> No, I can't find a list of just the ones that are in season two, dude. Um, actually, you know what? I will take the um. Oh, Pino has, has has left us for now, so you're we'll not hear him for to... a little while. Shut 
You're not supposed to talk about it. Well, it would have been weird if we just didn't acknowledge uh, that he okay, talked. Okay, um, Serval, Fennec Fox, smug but not in it enough. Armadillo, was, dumb. Yeah, Fennec really should have been in more. Um, I was going to say that I, I was going to look up the ending picture, the one that brought all the ceruleans. Giant Pango Lion, fine, I guess. Kiriru, bad. Caracal, bad. Lucky Beast, very good. All the penguins, good. Um... Mar gay, fine I guess. <laughs> Has gay in the name, and that's pretty cool. Well, well, Mar gay's the 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 cat manager. Um, giant panda, very good. I love giant panda. I love giant panda, and I love red panda. Those are the only good ones. There we go. I found the picture. La, la, um, la, la. Yeah. La, la, la. There's, like we mentioned, there's the pig. Um, what the Wait, fuck does is red panda? Wait, does does Red Panda not have? Oh, Aww. I like the um, I like the I like the seal. And the oh dolphin. yeah, we didn't talk about them. That's fine. We don't need yeah. to. Um, what the fuck was up with those two spooky ones? With the pink they just they showed up. Music. They showed up. Then they were underwater. I thought they were. Aren't I they, they were bats. Like, weren't they like jellyfish or something? But they were in the I sky. Don't know. Fish at the bottom or something. I don't know. But they were in the sky. Uh, I don't know. There's yeah, no they, they logic. were in the sky. There's no logic. I don't know. It was fucking weird, dude. And they were really, they were like genuinely unsettling. Guys, mm -hmm. I just, oh, uh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to go, I want to go to rating. So, yeah, yeah I mean, second. is it, it's, is it time for that bit? I think it's, yeah, no, I, I think don't it's have it open to, yet. I think it's time to go to ratings. Yeah. Welcome uh, to the 43rd edition of Who's yeah, the Best yeah, Girl, yeah, the yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. podcast where each contestant puts forward their choice of best girl of the episode and do get up for the title <clears> of Best Girl. <throat> Today, our contestants, once again, we will never change, are Pino Garvin myself. The Patreon didn't pick one because they didn't watch it, and I don't fucking blame them. <laughs> Who are you each advocating for? I'm picking Carcel. I pick, uh, which one was the animal with the glasses? Um, I, that was either sea lion or dolphin. Uh, I'll pick. I'll pick both for now until I. Yeah, pick them both. Pick okay, them both. I think it was and, dolphin. And I pick both the pandas. <laughs> That's a good Cause, choice. Because fuck rules okay. on this episode. Okay, Garb, you go first. So Carcel, she's just serval, except she's new and she's kind of a bitch. And like Chuck said, she's a little smug, and I think that serval's just a little bit too peppy and needs to be a little more hateful. For me to to pick her as best grill, and you know, that's, Carsol that's fair. called out Kaban whenever she fucking ditched him for domestic dog. That's fair. Even if she immediately fell back on it later, um, I just like Carsol. I just think she was a good design. I like that it was a new character, <laughs> and not yeah. one that was reused. Yeah. Um, unless she was, and I forgot. No, and that's she was. All I have to say. Um, Caracol is bad because she's just Serval. Got him. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, <laughs> dab, dab, dab. All right, oh, next up on the... Next up on the chopping block. <laughs> Thank you for finishing my line. I picked no the problem. sea lion or the dolphin. Uh, Both of them. I like water. I like glasses. I'm a simple man. I, if there's a ball, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, toss that over. <laughs> Toss that over to me. If, if there's a ball oh, on a fishing hook, ball. yo. I know. Um, Wait, hold up. How are you? Shut up. I, okay. Shut up. All right, I give you my answer. Was my reward? Uh, Pino. Yeah. If you if you if they're best grill, and you start dating them, and they start asking, um, where's your reward? What are you gonna give them? Give them a high five. I go to the store and buy a fish. Well, easy. Uh -huh. I mean, I throw the fish. I pick them because uh -huh. I'm prepared. <laughs> With a high five? <laughs> is that is that your? No, not until uh. the next paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, uh, you gotta teach them rules, or else they won't learn. They, they swim. Yeah. They're supposed to be in the water. So does Kanan from uh, Love Live. Yeah, I. <laughs> you also picked her. Who cares? Just, anyway, just like Jotaro. Bad. Jotaro. They're, Jotaro oh. wants to fuck the dolphin girl, uh, but mm. so, so what? What's happened? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, god damn it! Um, but yeah, no, I don't like them because they're too needy. 
And they also wouldn't bring you back to land unless you gave them a, a slap in the hand. I watch One Piece. I don't need to. I don't need to go back to land. You don't need to go back to water because you're in One Piece. You've seen so much water. Adventure. Um. Okay. Uh, I I picked the pandas, cause panda, panda, they're better. Panda, 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 panda. Panda. I got bras in Atlanta. Yeah, I got bras in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, pandas are good because what? one, red pandas are very cute. I love them. Red panda anime, very cute, very good. Number two, giant panda, very good in real life because whenever the baby sneezes, it goes hop, and uh, the panda better because. Um, sleep all the time. I like sleeping all the time, so I want to sleep with Panda. Oh. No. Wow, that was a jump. I uh, want to snuggle. You know, that Panda's never going to wake up one day because they're just okay. in a deep sleep. That's wake okay. Me out. And the other Panda just can't walk straight and just trip everywhere. That's okay. Can't wake up. Uh, one of them's going to die, die falling and the other one's dying sleeping. God, I wish that would be. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyway, Ish. if you want to tell, fucking email us at fuckingamepocketsgmail.com. Okay, so we have uh, emails. Uh, Woo! Um, so, first, uh, another round of Fuck You Pino. Thank you, Sadie. I don't know who this character is. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Well, I'm going to... Because I don't know if Can you DM the, it to me? No, I know this character. Okay. Can you DM it to me? No. Uh, okay, no. so this character. Ready? Yeah. Red hair. Red hair. Okay. Long hair. Long hair. Red long hair. Has knuckles. wings in the hair. Wings in the hair. Knuckles. Has big boobies. Wings in red hair, long hair, <laughs> wings in her hair, red Is this Urza Scarlet? Yes. Easy. Is this her is this her armored form with like a bunch of swords? Yes. Hey, got him, got him, got him. And guess what? What? Uh she sent another one. Oh um, a, a twofer. And I don't know if you're gonna get this one, because I know these characters, but I don't think you do. You, so you'll, there's you'll be, two of them. You'll be surprised. Okay. There's two of them, but they look the same. And okay. is this still from Fairy uh, Tale? No. Okay. So, uh, and they both look equally smug. They have kind of reddish orange hair. Uh, they're wearing purple outfits, suits. This is from an anime, probably early two thousands, if I remember correctly. Did you give up? I'm thinking. Stop making. Stop. Stop making me try to give. Okay, I give up. Stop pressuring. <laughs> it's it's the it's the twins from Oran High School Host Club. I don't think. Mm, you yeah, no, I haven't that. watched. Yeah, I, I I knew that. Okay. I'm still so the undefeated champ. Undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> undefeated three and one. <laughs> um, and that doesn't count. Uh, Sadie also asked um, if we could do an email pick for next episodes, but sadly we cannot because Patreon supports us so if you would like to support us you can support us on patreon.com slash three we bros it helps us a lot um i actually was able to get some equipment with the money we have and it's helped support keep our uh our ship afloat if so he, if he thank sounds you much more crisper those... that's uh that's the money yeah that's because i because i because I, I got a new uh new new rig new fa new fast new fast rig um anyway thank you all of our patreon and thank you Sage, for emailing us um, if you want to email us, you can feel us at funkyanimepodcast at gmail.com. Once again, that is funkyanimepodcast at gmail.com. And miscellaneous, go garble Um, I don't really have anything. Okay, you nice ratings. ratings. Garble Two point two. Oh, yeah, fair. Gar <laughs> Fine, uh. Two, but I will explain my long-winded as usual. Okay, uh, go for it. Coming into this show, I thought it was going to be trash. I was ready to give it a one. I might still give it a one, even though I already said two. Uh, but you know, I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll applaud the improved models. I, you know, it's nicer. I still don't applaud the animation because it's, <laughs> it's like one second per four frames or something. I don't even know the math. Uh, this could have all just been done in, in two D. Thank you, from microwave. Uh, this could have all been done in 2D. <laughs> the time, the time is over. Connor. There you we go. Micro, mm, the, my review well, is over. Three D is cheaper. Nah, right. it's so dumb. Um, yeah, three D. Well, because all you have to do is make models, and then you have to uh, animate them. But sorry if my mic sounds a little shaky. I bumped it. Um, 
I give it a 2.1. I'm right in the middle. Cause it's still garbage, but like it's super not as super hot garbage, but I still hate it a lot more than Come On Friends Season 1. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is the episode. Sorry, it's a, it's a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, Garbo? Hold on. Okay. I know it's typing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh um, no. But, so, I'm Garb. I was a beaver. Um, what are we watching next go... week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to go crawl into my dam while Chuck announces the next show we're watching. Um, we're watching Haikyuu Season 1 next week. It's 25 episodes. I'm the most excited. I don't think you guys understand. We watched some shit the last couple weeks. <laughs> we're going to watch some good stuff next week. And oh, Finally oh boy. Has built this show up. I'm so excited. Because we're watching Volleyball Boys Do Good. I'm looking. Ex I'm more excited for this than any of the other shows you've recommended. So this is yeah, a good thing. Yeah, because it's a good show. And it's in Shonen. And it's one of the top ten on manga. And Shonen for the past, like, three years. Um, yeah. So we're watching Haikyuu Season 1 next year. Next, next, next episode. Next year. Next year. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited for it. And I was a rhino, so I'm going to go run into uh, uh, Garb's uh, little dam and break what? it. What? Did, what? Why did uh, you do this? Here I come. Here I come. Oh. What, is, what is he doing? He's going to drown. This is in the water. Well, that was your own fault. Hey, Pine. I'm a bat, so I'm just going to fly away, pretend nothing happened. Fly away. Thank you for listening to the worst episode of the Funky Android Podcast. Uh, make sure to tell your mom you love her, and we will see you all next episode. On the volleyball court. On the volleyball court, with my volleyball in my hand and my foot on the floor. God, that was the worst episode. All right, I'm going to have to stop. <laughs>Funky Anime Podcast is a program made by Upchucked, Garbalax, and Pino Play, and you can find Chuck at Upchucked Gaming on Twitter and Upchucked on YouTube. You can find Garb at Garbalax on Twitter or Garbalax on Twitch. You can find Pino at Pino Plan 2 on Twitter and Pinedo Plan 2 on Twitch. Music made by Garbalax, editing by Chuck, audio mastering by Garbalax, moral support by Pino. You can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash 3 And Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, 3 Weebros, so you can find our latest content. Thank you.